This is the heart model. Um, the human heart has four chambers. You have the right atrium, the left atrium, the right ventricle, and the left ventricle. I'm going to look at some um, external features, then we're going to go in and look at the internal features. Um, externally, you're going to have the coronary sulcus, which is this groove right here where the blood vessels are running within. And this is the other coronary sulcus where you have the other coronary arteries run within. So in the front, you're going to have the anterior interventricular sulcus. Posteriorly, right here, you have the posterior interventricular sulcus where the blood vessels are running within. All right, so uh, let's open up the chambers. See, this is the right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. Okay. Um, features inside, you have the, um, this is the valve. This is the right atrioventricular valve, also known as the uh, tricuspid. This is the left atrioventricular valve, also known as the uh, bicuspid. Okay, or the mitral valve. Um, in here, you're gonna have the pectinate muscles here, okay, and the anterior wall of the atrium. And down here in the ventricles, you have these are called papillary muscles. Okay, so the papillary muscles in here too, and papillary muscle here. Okay, these here are the extensions coming out here. Okay. These are called the chordae tendinae. They attach to the papillary muscles. Okay. So chordae tendinae attaching to the papillary muscles. So this here is called the um, pulmonary semilunar valve. Okay. So the pulmonary semilunar valve sits right here, okay, the, between the uh, right ventricle and the pulmonary trunk. Um, it catches the blood when the heart um, relaxes and it flows back down from the pulmonary trunk. Okay. Um, the other valve okay, is uh, this right here. Okay. This is called the aortic semilunar valve. So this is a superior view here. And the other view is down. So the, um, this is the aorta, you have the ascending aorta, the aortic arch, and the descending aorta which forms the thoracic aorta. Branching out of the um, ascending aorta portion, you have two coronary arteries. You have the right coronary artery running along the coronary sulcus, and then you have the left coronary artery right here, and it comes up here. Okay, The right coronary artery uh, splits or branches. There's one branch running here, coming along down here. This is the marginal artery. Okay. The other branch runs in the back, posteriorly to, from down here. And then this one is called the posterior interventricular artery, okay. or the posterior descending artery. The left coronary, um, sorry, the left coronary artery here comes out in branches. One branch descends anteriorly, so this is called the um, anterior interventricular artery or the anterior descending artery. It runs along the anterior interventricular sulcus. The other branch is called the circumflex. Okay, um, now let's go back here to the um, aorta. So here at the aortic arch, you have three major branches coming out. So three main branches. Okay. One branch here is called the brachiocephalic trunk. The brachiocephalic trunk, remember, forms or branches to form the right um, subclavian and the right common carotid artery. This one right here is the left common carotid artery. 
and this one right here is the left subclavian, left subclavian artery. Okay. Um, so now let's talk about the other vessels. Um, this one here is a pulmonary trunk. The pulmonary trunk um, divides to form the uh, left and the right. There's a branch right here called the right um, pulmonary arteries. So this here is a uh, part of the um, right pulmonary artery, which then takes the blood to the lungs um, for gas exchange. Okay. Um, right here is the superior uh, vena cava. Okay, and here is the left and the right brachiocephalic veins. So this is the right brachiocephalic vein. And here to here is the left brachiocephalic vein joining together to form the superior vena cava. And this basically um, brings back deoxygenated blood to the right atrium of the heart. Okay. And in the back, this is the uh, inferior vena cava here. So if I'm holding it like this, you can see this is the inferior vena cava bringing back deoxygenated blood from the abdominal region and the lower extremities, or the lower limbs. Okay. Um, let's look at the other veins. Okay. This is the great cardiac vein in the front. The great cardiac vein brings back deoxygenated blood from the anterior portion of the heart. It comes back and joins with the um, coronary sinus. The coronary sinus also empties into the right chamber, uh, the right atrium of the heart. Back here, this is the middle cardiac vein, also joins with the um, coronary sinus. And then this right here is the small cardiac vein, which also joins with the coronary sinus to empty into the right atrium of the heart. So three, made three vessels enter into the right atrium, the superior vena cava, the inferior vena cava, and the coronary sinus. These are the, let's see, the right and the left pulmonary veins, because these veins here bring in oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart. Okay, um, flow of blood through the heart. Okay, so deoxygenated blood from the superior portion of your body collects into the superior vena cava and empties into the right atrium. Also, blood from the inferior portion of your body, um, starting with your abdominal region and the lower limbs, will come be collected into the inferior vena cava, also emptying into the right atrium, and also uh, deoxygenated blood from the heart emptying into the coronary sinus to empty into the right atrium. So, okay. From the right atrium, it passes through the valve here this valve is the right atrioventricular valve, and then it empties into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, then the blood will shoot up here, okay? and it needs to go through the pul uh, pulmonary semilunar valve. So that's this valve here, pulmonary semilunar valve. From there, blood will then enter into the pulmonary trunk. From the pulmonary trunk, it will then flow into the left and the right pulmonary arteries to the lungs for um, gas exchange. Oxygenated blood will then come back from the lungs uh, to the heart via the right and the left pulmonary veins. Okay. So it enters into the left atrium chamber of the heart. So these here. Okay. Then oxygenated blood um, in the left atrium 
will then flow through this valve here and this valve here is called the left atrioventricular valve or the bicuspid valve or the mitral valve. Then the blood enters into the left ventricle. From the left ventricle it then needs to pass through the uh, another valve and this valve is called the aortic semilunar valve. The aortic semilunar valve can also be seen here. Okay. Then blood passes into the aorta. Okay. And as you remember, this is the ascending aorta, aortic arch, and descending aorta. Um, there's another feature of the heart that separates the two ventricles. This is this this the wall, and this wall is called the interventricular septum.